I would be remiss to not talk about the time where I used to dye my mustache blonde. And everyone used to tell me that it looked like I drank milk and not wiped it off, or I've drank a Guinness and not wiped it off. You lot are haters. How dare you? I loved my blonde mustache. Although when it was growing out, it just looked like there was a rat on my, on my mouth. Hi, I'm Shuti Gatwa, and I'm here with LUK to play It's a Mood. Oh, I had so much fun as a blonde. I'm just Ken and I'm enough. That outfit is was so much fun. It was very freeing. Athleisure wear is a strong favorite of Ken. Of course, naturally our war takes place on the beach. Where else would it take place in Barbie land? And that is, yeah, that's my, my war outfit. I was armed with a tennis racket and I hit those balls, honey. My favorite memory is just all of us stepping on to the set together and just like the collective excitement that grew from all of us like stepping into Barbie land, like our new world for the next couple of months. It was perfect. It was just, per everything was just perfect and fake. So it was like, oh my God, the sea is so beautiful and plastic, obviously. Everything's plastic. There's four suns in Barbie land and they're always on. <laughs> so we were lit beautifully all the time. It was so much fun working with Margot and Ryan. They are absolutely full packages as human beings and actors. Just so kind and generous and normal and like down to earth and exceptionally talented. It was so, I think I've said this before somewhere, but it was so difficult on Barbie to get through any take without dying of laughing. And Ryan was, Ryan was the main culprit. He's so funny. And I couldn't believe he's not done more, more comedy in his career. He's incredibly funny. This was my outfit to BAFTA TV Awards 2022. The outfit is Orange Culture. Uh, by a Nigerian designer called Adebayo Okelowau. And I just loved it. It was sci-fi chic. And I had my chachas out. And I loved that. A suit tux that came down to just above my knees with the chest cut out, um, exposing my chest. And like a fringe belt slash skirt over the trousers and I had some cool sandals to go with it. Made me feel like a sci-fi bad bitch, which is what I was going for. It's so important to me to champion African designers. There's so much talent on the continent, so much talent and so much different silhouettes and designs and cuts and vibrancy of color and the amount of textures that I played with. It's great and obviously I have an African body and I've often found that African designers are able to fit my body just seamlessly. This is a lovely picture. Oh, the happy couple. <laughs> when things were all so sweet and well. Eric and Adam skipping down the forest to have a bang. To have a picnic in a bang. Isn't that lovely? You, Eric has got such freedom in his clothes and loves experimenting with color and vibrancy. A leopard print jacket, some two color, two tone color denim jeans on, some multicolored vans on, and fabulous eye makeup as always. And yeah, that was such a fun scene to shoot. Me and Connor had such a fun, that was, that was such a fun shoot. You know, Eric had prepared for every eventuality. He had crisps, he had condoms and lube. And that's great. I've never taken a piece of clothing from set. Other than like the track suits that I get in between outfits. My outfit, I always play characters that have very uncomfortable <laughs> outfits. Cool, but uncomfortable. And so I always get track suits in between shoots and then those end up coming home with me. This outfit was for uh, Time 100 Next, where I was <laughs> on that list. So, so, what an honor and a surprise. 
This is a full Daniel Fletcher look, an oversized shirt underneath with a corset, corseted tank top, some super short shorts, socks, schoolboy socks and schoolboy shoes. I remember taking off one of my rings and, well, not me, but my stylist having the idea to take off one of my rings and use it for the, the neck scarf that I had on. It was very fun, bringing a bit of schoolboy chic to the red carpet. I have always wanted to wear a corset. I think that they're just so cool. I love seeing men in corsets. I like adding a bit of like kink into my outfits. Struggled to breathe, but now I know the plight of every woman in history. <laughs> This was my outfit to the Loewe Men's SS24 show, and I love Loewe. For this, I was wearing like a sleeveless, sheer knitted tank jumper, some high-waisted, wide-legged khaki trousers, and some like torn up white trainers, and lots of Tiffany jewelry, because we love Tiffany. And, um, and a little lilac handbag just to keep my lip gloss and my perfume in. I carry perfume everywhere. Be yourself when it comes to dressing because your opinion is all that matters. And so as long as you feel comfortable, then that's what it is. But also never judge an outfit until you've got the shoes on. Oh. I loved this look. I loved this look so much. This is full Oswald Boateng for his his return show back to London Fashion Week. And that was such a fun day. It was in uh, the Savoy and it was like in, in a theater and Idris Elba came out. He walked and just stood there for about 10 minutes while everyone reveled in his sexiness and no one was mad. He, I mean, obviously all the models were coming out and doing the thing and then leaving. Like it just came and he stood and he stood and he just soaked it in and everyone gave it to him because why wouldn't you? Oh, that was wonderful. Yes, I felt like an African royal wizard. I had a beautiful silk shirt on with oversized cuffs, this beautiful shawl and um, some really fitted green trousers. I paired them with my own Gucci loafers and I was taking my best friend with me. There was a logistics problem that day and our car couldn't come. So we got the tube from Tottenham <laughs> to central London in these outfits and everyone was staring at us like we were idiots, but we felt amazing. My biggest fashion faux pas to date. I wouldn't say I've had one, but that's just because I believe that everything is a moment in time. Do you? But I would be remiss to not talk about the time where I used to dye my mustache blonde. And everyone used to tell me that it looked like I drank milk and not wiped it off, or I've drank a Guinness and not wiped it off. You lot are haters. How dare you? I loved my blonde mustache. Although when it was growing out, it just looked like there was a rat on my, on my mouth. And so, Probably that, but you know, we're young and we grow and we learn and we experiment and die, die away, whatever you want to die. Thank you very much, LUK. That was so much fun. Thank you for watching.